Welcome to the Cloud Native Podcast. In this short video, we are diving into the CNCF Ambassador Series, highlighting those who have dedicated their time and energy to create top-notch content that help you succeed in your role using CNCF tools. It's August 31st, and I am joined by one of the best duos in the cloud native community. The faces behind the popular YouTube channel DevOps Toolkit. And if you haven't checked them out yet, you are missing out. Let's tune in and hear what they have been up to and what's in store for September. I have Whitney Lee and Victor Farsik. And Victor, I think for the first time I've seen outside is Moen Studio. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to prove you wrong when you said working hard. This is not working, man. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, absolutely. Which do you have to you? Tell us let tell us a little, little bit about yourself. Ah, I'm I'm in Austin, Texas. I'm a CNCF ambassador. I'm a developer advocate. I'm looking for work right now, actually. Um, but I have been a developer advocate at VMware Tanzu for the past three years. Uh, I've done a couple KubeCon keynotes and I make a lot of streaming shows, including one with Victor that we're going to talk about here today. Yes, absolutely. And I think if anybody looking for the best talent to hire for the team, make sure you bet for the Whitney <laughs> and that's enough for your project to actually thrust and grow. So I think what we're talking about today is actually you choose you have done wonderful episode in the past, and now this month you're actually planning something new content. So let us tell us about who is the attended audience, what sort of the speaker in, in lineup, and what technology you are about to cover. You start, Victor, and then I'll fill in the gaps. Oh, I don't know. And ask, I know it's something about observability, and we have different <laughs> episodes, but if you ask me what are the guests, <laughs> that's with me. <laughs> And I'm pretty well, sure that she told she she directed you to me because she knows that I don't know it. No, no, no. What I was hoping, Victor, is that you would tell what is you choose at all. Ah, uh, so uh, splitting CNC projects into group logical groups. You know, in next season it will be about observability, like yeah, dashboards, metrics, logs, blah 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 blah. And then uh, letting people present each of the projects in that group. They have five minutes, we kick them out after five minutes, no exceptions. And uh, people vote for the project that they want me to suffer with in the next episode when I do it live, and then we repeat the process. <laughs> so to summarize, choose your own, you choose. Hey, you cannot you summarize choose. the summary. Yeah. <laughs> So you were you were missing some important verbs like when you do so it in the next episode. it's not a summary, it's extending. <laughs> Touche. To take what Victor <laughs> said and make it longer. <laughs> <laughs> you choose is a choose your own adventure style journey through the CNCF landscape. So each episode represents a different system design choice. And for that system design choice, we gather all the relevant CNCF technology that can do that thing, whatever it is. Now we say CNCF technology because we have to scope it somehow to try, so it's not infinite. Um, and so we gather guests from each technology, usually a maintainer, sometimes a super user, and that guest gets only five minutes to present about their technology because we want to hear only the good stuff, none of the boring stuff, just an overview. And at, and if they go over that five minutes, Victor has a gong that he loves to use. He will gong you. And then um, after that, we have a question answer session, and then we put it to a vote to the community. And the com community votes about which technology they choose, which technology they want to see implemented at the beginning of the next episode in our ongoing demo. And that's when when Victor does it. <laughs> that's what he means. He's He's going to implement the technology in the ongoing demo. And we've been doing this show for a year and a half. So I think we've already covered, I don't know, 50 at least technologies. Yeah. And so there, um, there are more new projects than those that we covered so far. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, so last se season was a chapter on security, and this one coming up is a chapter about observability. Yes, absolutely. And I remember I will be one of the episode, and I I actually practice a lot 
to detail the parallels in five minutes. So anybody who actually will be participating in you choose, make sure you have to practice and make sure you have a <laughs> time setter five minute in place. Otherwise, <laughs> a director is in traffic. No. Right up. <laughs> no, 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 wrong, wrong. Don't practice. The less you practice, the, the sillier it will be and more we will enjoy. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So you, so you yeah. both speak about you choose. Now, now people thinking about how I can actually select or choose the technology about what you're covering. So what are the criteria for choosing from the end user perspective or the viewer's perspective? Do you want to take this one, Victor, so I don't dominate? Yeah, you just vote. We're going to put it somewhere. We don't know where uh, to vote. You just vote for one, two, three, four, five, or whatever the number of choices is in an episode. That's all. As far as and the cr can... criteria goes, like you, it's totally different depending on the technology. So it's kind of hard to say in an overall way. But one thing Victor kind of alluded to that I like is like, it's um you should vote for what you're curious about, not necessarily what you think the best technology is. So this isn't a winning situation. Like one technology it's, didn't win. Yeah. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's a popularity contest. <laughs> Absolutely. So speaking of like, is there like is there any guesses like which of the technology you might think will be actually people have more votes and if you have any plan what sort of the guests coming up in the episodes and is there any theme the theme is now observability that the victor spoke about it in that observability there's a you like vasm observability ebpf or small container cluster so their space is absolutely gigantic <laughs> and victor That's has true. All already tons of episode on that channel on all of these observability. So is there any new piece that you actually thinking about covering or in the latest trend right now? Uh, let me think. No, I don't think that there is, none of the projects are particularly new. So they've been all around the NCF for a while now. I mean, when I say for a while, at least a year. Um, I might be missing one, but I think that they are all known entities. I already know who's going to win the second episode. I can place my bets. We do have a so, vote during the second episode. So, yeah, so but I, I can already predict the winner. <laughs> uh, so we're going to cover on the first episode, which is Tuesday, September 3rd. It's coming right up. Is oh, We're going to cover dashboards. So we have three different tools that can do dashboards. On the second episode that Victor and I are talking about, we're just going to talk about open standards because one thing that's important in the observability space is standardization and how everyone's ag agreed to use the same standard so that different tools can be switched out from one or another. So we're going to talk about that from a Prometheus and open metric standpoint, but also from a open telemetry standpoint. And so I think open telemetry is going to win the season. To, to There's a lot Everything needs to integrate with open telemetry, but we'll talk more about that during the show if you don't know what it is right now. We'll go through logging metrics traces, of course, one separate episode for each one. Actually, we decided not to do logging because everything that used to do logging all, now collects all three signals. So that we'll have a metrics and a traces episode and not a logging episode. Um, well, so instead of logging, we're going to have an episode called data pipelines. Oh, great. I like, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the best and one. then we'll do, yeah, progressive delivery. We'll do an episode about cost observability. We'll do an episode about what observability has to do with service mesh. Because when I was learning about service mesh, every service mesh tool said, we help you with observability. And then I started learning about observability and nobody's talking about service mesh. So we just have one episode to be like, what's the disparity there? What's that about? Um, and then the last episode, well, the second to last episode is miscellaneous, which might answer your question too about um, different tools, like new tools or something, because we have like uh, Kepler's in there, which is a pretty cool project. It's not brand new, but it does um, observability around energy consumption. We have uh, uh, Kate JPT in there. And that'll be interesting to talk about. And then Inspector Gadget, which uses EBPF. Oh, so wow. those those three in the MISC. 
Okay. And then the last episode of every chapter, we call our seasons chapters, um, is always a end-to-end -end recap of the demo, and we'll go like a recap of the season to kind of go through everything. Oh yes, absolutely. This is a demo of Netflix coming up. <laughs> <laughs> demo of toolkit channel to make sure you actually hang out with the, some of the best in the in the industry who spoke about observability because observability one of my favorite topic because all software engineers write code and how do we tell them which code is the best one is reducing cost reducing this without observability code is going to be a mess so observability tell us where the things where things are going very bad and how to fix them so it's going to be a very wonderful great episode to talk about so before i let you go the final few questions there's a kubecon there's a bunch of few events happening in that paradigm is there any event victor and whitney talking about on co-located event or in the kubecon or how do people catch you up in the kubecon salt lake we are we presenting together at KubeCon, yes. We're going to present a Choose Your Own Observability talk at KubeCon, and we're using this season to prepare for our KubeCon talk. That's how you Choose was born. It was first a KubeCon talk that we got accepted together, and then we we made you Choose as a way to learn what we needed to know in time for the talk. Awesome. Anything to add, Victor? No, that's it. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's a mini version of the of the YouTube stream. What's cool about the KubeCon talk is the audience can live vote and Victor will build the demo live based on what the audience chooses. Sometimes it's a success. Sometimes it's a disaster. It really, truly really goes both ways. 50% success rate, more or less. <laughs> yeah.